Gary, you've secured your first signing of the summer. Harrison Biggins joins Rovers on a, a two-year deal. What is it about him that made you want to bring him to the football club? First time I really caught eyes on him live was obviously the game in January at the stadium here. Um, and within the first two or three minutes, I think he'd made three or four runs in behind our defence from midfield, got corners of the pitch, got, you know, just got good territory and that was on the back of probably a bit of a cluster of goals as well, five goals in, in four, five or six games over the Christmas period and ever since then really we've kept our eye on him. Um, I think he brings high energy, good legs in midfield, he can he can run all day, he can run him, run him beyond. And I think he arrives he arrives on time as well from cutbacks, crosses, and his, his finishing his finishing ability is really good. He's composed and he can score a variety of goals. So I think he adds goals to our midfield. Yeah, the fact that you've got quality in there already, but is he a different type of player to the, the players you've already got in, in that sort of position? Yeah, he is. Um, he's, he's still got quality on the ball. Um, he can play anywhere in the midfield, really. Um, he can sit if you want someone to sit, but like I say, he can run and beyond. He can, he can join in and he can arrive on, on time, a bit like Tommy Rowan, you know, being a left foot. So I think, I think we've got the options and ability to play Tommy Rowe higher up. And if then to a room is field, then I do feel we, we had goals in that department. With Matt Smith going back to Arsenal, he was the, the legs, wasn't he? The energy in that, in that midfield last season. Is Harrison, do you feel, sort of somebody who can add that, add the legs into midfield as well? I think, I think Matt Smith had a great season for us. Um, I constantly challenged him to get his numbers up in terms of goals, assists, end product. But you know, he's, he's, he's pressing, he's, he's covering every blade of grass, his runs in behind, they were good. And I feel that Harrison probably adds that end product now onto that type of play. Uh, similar players, um, but I think Harrison's got an eye for goal and more composure in, in the final third when it comes to putting the ball in the net. You spoke about getting the right characters in, not just the, the right players. What was it in those meetings that you had with him that impressed you the most about his character? Really down to earth. Um, you know, South Yorkshire lad. Um, I feel that I feel that he'll bring the non-negotiables, the the things that uh, Yorkshire fans, you know, demand the the, the non-negotiables, if you like, the work ethic, the heart on your sleeve, and I feel it will really, you know, I think the, the fans will really, you know, like what they see from him. Um, like I say, he won't stop running, and he'll give everything. It's them, it's them characteristics we want. We want to be, we want the the fans to engage with the players that we bring in, and we look at Harrison as one that they can really relate to. And at the age he's at as well, you've mentioned his qualities there, but still improvement left in him as well, and a fair bit of it at that. Yeah, uh, we got a player last year that, again, he, he led he led a lot of the time in a, in a struggling Fleetwood team, but got five or six goals in, in League One. So we feel that we're bringing a League One midfielder into League Two and, and you know uh, improving our squad. To get him so early as well, not to have to go through the, is he going to sign for us, is he going to sign for somebody else? The fact he signed so early shows how keen he is to, to play for Doncaster Rovers. That was, a, that was a big one, that was a big one. Um, once he once he was aware of our interest, you know, I, I know he's I know his agent, former player, and once he was aware of our interest, he really wanted to speak to us first, see what we had to offer and get a feel for us and, and it was yeah he, he's delighted to get it through and that's that's massive it's massive to actually want someone that wants to come here and we're his first choice even even on relegation so mm. you speak to a few players and, and you know they're weighing up their options but Harrison wanted to come here you know and, and he had good options he had good options good league good league two options solid offers uh, if he'd have hung about, he'd probably had a couple of good League One options as well. But like, like you say, he wanted to get things done early and we wanted to get things done early with him. You mentioned he's from Sheffield. He knows the South Yorkshire patch, if you like. How much did that have a, a sway in things as well? Was he keen to sort of get closer to home and, and be able to play his trade closer to his family? Yeah, obviously he'd have had his own personal reasons to do things as well. But like I say, for us, it was about Getting someone with the you know the, the the right core values that South Yorkshire fans want really, and I think he ticks every box, and then he's the type of player that we've been missing in that midfield. 
yeah, more than 120 career appearances, I think it is. He had a little loan spell at Barrow earlier on in his career, but Fleetwood's been his home for the last five years or so. You, you don't always get that experience, do you? From, especially from a player who's been in the league above for the majority of that. Yeah, and he's also had that, that grounding and that, and that hunger of playing at Stocksbridge as well for a couple of years before that. So he, he, he's, got that, he's got the hunger and he knows what it's like to dip out of it and play on league football and graft. So, you know, he appreciates, he appreciates where he is and the level he's playing at and the, the size of club he's come to. And he's excited and we're excited and we hope that he brings good things to us. Does it potentially make it easier with other signings as well? The fact that they've seen you've, you've got one through the door and they want to be a part of it as well? Could do that. Or just things like that always have a knock-on effect. So when they see you bringing in quality, not just quantity, as we've said before, you, you um, it, it can have that effect. But, you know, it's important that we, we don't rush into too many things and we make sure that they're the right ones again.